Welcome to another episode of Remember the Great Sports NBA 2K18 Roster Edits. Today we're going to look at the Orlando Magic on NBA 2K18 and 2K19. Um, to start out with, NBA 2K staff has done another really good job with this roster and pretty much captured almost all of the all-time greats on the Orlando Magic. Um, I'm not going to go through them on this screen, and I'm just simply going to show you the one person that I feel needs to be eliminated from this team and that is Steve Francis or Stevie Franchise and the reason for that is he only played a season and a half with the Magic so I feel that doesn't quite fit the criteria of all-time great when you only play a season and a half for a team now there is uh, one other person that I've considered putting on this team however it's kind of a moot point because he's a backup point guard it gets back to your preference as a player. So uh, stay with me really quick here. Again, you're eliminating Steve Francis. And we are going to add one more player to this team. And stay with me and I'll show you who that player is. Alright, so here is the starting lineup for the all-time Orlando Magic. Uh, the franchise is relatively uh, young. They came as an expansion team, I believe, in 1988 or 89. So there's not been a lot of players that have played for this team. So starting out, your starting point guard is Penny Hardaway, Anthony Hardaway. Uh, your shooting guard is T-Mac, Tracy McGrady. At small forward, you have Grant Hill. At the power forward position, you have Horace Grant. At center, you have a young Shaquille O'Neal. As your backup center, you have Dwight Howard. Your backup shooting guard is Nick Anderson, very good three-point shooter from his day. Uh, backup point guard is Jameer Nelson. Backup power forward slash small forward is Richard Lewis. And this is the first person that I've added to this team, or the only person, in place of Steve Franchise. Uh, Francis, excuse me, and that is Hedo Turkoglu. Hedo Turkoglu was a longtime Orlando Magic uh, from Turkey. He uh, played for a couple teams actually, but his best years were with the Orlando Magic. He was kind of a small forward slash point forward type, very good three point shooter, one of the best three point shooters ever to play the game. And this is somebody that I feel is necessary to have on the all time Orlando Magic team because he's instant three point offense off the bench when you need it. Um, another great three point shooter is Dennis Scott, who's already on the team. Uh, Nikola v Vujacek, if I'm saying that, Vucevic, if I'm saying that right. Uh, he's a younger player, but as you can see, over his uh, four seasons with the Magic and his fifth being last year, he has been one of the most dominant players for the Magic that I've ever seen. So he definitely needs to make this team as the backup backup center behind Howard and Shaq. And finally, rounding out your roster is Daryl Armstrong, and the reserves remain the same with Aaron Gordon and Brian Shaw. Now, Aaron Gordon is a very young player as well. And he's spent three seasons or four or five seasons now with the Magic. Uh, I feel if you have a preference over Armstrong, you could easily slide him in to have another power forward. You know, it's just up to you. Uh, Brian Shaw, you know, probably an expendable person off this roster. Only played there for three seasons. You know, is a great knowledgeable basketball player. But not necessarily somebody you need on your roster um, with that being said, if Gilbert Arenas is somebody that you would prefer to have on your team, he did play for the Orlando Magic. Uh, he was more successful as a Washington Wizard, but he could also fit on this Orlando Magic's all-time team as well. Um, definitely belongs on the all-time Wizards slash Bullets team. So you could very easily take any you know, Armstrong or Shaw out and put Gilbert Arenas in there, if that's your preference. All right, this team is coached by Brian Hill. Uh, this isn't the best picture of him, but, you know, this does get the job done. And uh, Brian Hill was their coach during the um, Shaquille O'Neal years, uh, when they probably had their most success reaching the NBA Finals, you know, eventually losing to the Houston Rockets. But Brian Hill was at the helm when that happened. Um, there hasn't really been a more successful coach than him at this point. So maybe in the future that will change. So 
in closing, I hope you, you know, agree with my one change on this team. There's not a lot you got to do. Just add Hito Turkoglu or Gilbert Arenas, if that's your preference, and get going. And uh, this team, you know, has some Hall of Famers on it with T-Mac, Grant Hill, you know, Shaquille O'Neal, and probably certainly Dwight Howard before it's all said and done, probably Penny Hardaway as well. But it doesn't match up really good against the all-time great teams. I mean, the Orlando Magic just don't have the history that some of the other franchises do, like the Knicks and the Lakers and the Bulls and the Celtics, etc. So, um, not the strongest team on your all-time greats rosters, but a pretty good team to have fun with and play with. So, thanks for joining me for this video, and stay tuned for the next one.